Though some think of it as a pain, it's the best form of elongating the life of your vehicle, meaning you can keep it a lot longer and enjoy the best performance. Part of the maintenance includes the transmission, which you can check by monitoring the transmission fluid. How to check transmission fluid, what to know. If you're not sure how to check transmission fluid, we'll show you how in just a few simple steps. Before we get to that, we'll start with a look at the transmission, its fluid, and why it's important to the health of your car. There are lots of fluids that work to power your car, some of which are more crucial than others. Your transmission is like the heart of your car, helping it switch gears and keep your engine roaring. The transmission needs fluids to function properly, keeping it cool and lubricated. In order to keep functioning properly, your transmission needs fluid. That's why checking the transmission fluid is important so that you can spot whether it has enough or whether it's time to change it out. Keeping your vehicle with the correct amount of transmission fluid is key to keeping it running smoothly. If you've never checked your transmission fluid or are just trying to brush up on how it's done, follow these simple steps. The dipstick is the key tool in checking the fluid levels of your transmission. Your car will have two dipsticks, one that goes into the engine and one that goes into the transmission. The transmission is always further back, so find the two circles sticking out near your engine and choose the one that's further back. Make a note of them so that it becomes a breeze to locate the transmission dipstick when you want to check your transmission fluid. To check the level of transmission fluid in your transmission, you want to start with your car turned on and in park. Then, take a look at the indicators and what they could mean for your fluid and or transmission. In addition to a dark color, if your fluid has a burnt smell too, you need to replace your transmission fluid stat. You could also have some small metal pieces on the towel which is also an indicator that you could have damage in your transmission, and you need to check out the situation quickly. Apart from how to check transmission fluid, it's also good to know what low fluid levels could mean. To avoid missing the need for more fluids, drivers should check their transmission fluids often, getting on a schedule to take a look every couple of weeks. If you live in an area that is high temps, make sure to check your transmission fluid often. If this is the case for you, you may want to have some backup fluid on hand so that you can add it when the levels are low. The most serious thing that you can run into is a leak in your transmission. Either way, if you suspect a leak, don't wait too long to avoid further damage to your engine and or transmission. The key to keeping your vehicle healthy is keeping it maintained, changing fluids, and replacing worn out parts 